Do you ever find yourself looking at other musicians and feeling like a failure in comparison? Feeling that there's no point even trying to get better because you're never going to match their level, however hard you work? Don't do it! It makes you unhappy and it slows down your progress. But I know it's not always easy to stop doing that. But fear not, in this video I'll show you a method of reframing your thinking that will help you stay out of that trap. And it's the same thing that top sports coaches use with their athletes to get them to Olympics, world championships, that sort of thing. And it applies just as much to your music. Now comparing yourself to other musicians is really unhelpful. It's usually unrealistic. You're often looking at people who are much further down the line than you, uh, whether that's purely in terms of how long they've been playing for or just the amount of work they've put in, and you're comparing yourself to them. And there's no reason why you should be at the same level if they've had more time and more work. It's also demotivating. You're turning what should be a long journey into a single step and thinking, how can I just bridge that gap just now? Which is just not going to happen and so it takes your motivation away. On top of this, you tend to only see the best bits of other players and you don't notice the bits they're not so good at. And part of this is the natural tendency of your own mind. You tend to remember the good things that other people do and less the bad things, in music certainly. But the other thing is that's how they're going to set things up. Other musicians are going to play more of the things that they do well and they're going to avoid the things that they don't play quite so well. So just what you see them playing often gives you a very unbalanced view of their abilities across the scale. And at the same time, you're likely being much more harsh than you should be on yourself. We don't judge our playing very well and we tend to, with us, see the bad bits more than the good bits. And comparing yourself to others is frankly pointless to an extent. You're an individual, you're looking to play music in your own way. It's not about can you do everything exactly as well as everyone else. It's more about are you enjoying the things that you do well and that you probably take for granted but other people will be looking at you, even though you don't realise it, and going, oh, I wish I could do that. So what's the alternative? Well, I think it's really helpful to focus on what you can do to get better at before in a gradual way. Let's break that down. So your reference point for measuring improvement against should be yourself. And particularly starting with where you are right now, because you're not anywhere else. That's the only point you can start from. And you don't want to waste time and emotional energy comparing yourself to something else. And again, it's not really helpful to judge yourself as a marks out of a hundred. You know, how good am I absolutely? Because you can always be higher and that always tends to lead to disappointment. Much more helpful to say, where am I today? And can I make that a little bit better tomorrow? Because anyone can improve at the margins. If you work on something that you're doing all right at and can I just make it a little bit better, there's always a little bit further you can go, so there's always progress to be made. And it's this continued incremental progress that you want to go for. It's not about looking, can I get all the way to where someone else is right now? It's, can I continually make progress? What's the direction I'm looking to head in? Can I identify where I'm going and then each day just take that next little step along the road rather than wishing I was at the end of the journey? Your motivation is going to come from consistently achieving small goals. Don't set yourself up for failure by setting yourself these huge goals that you're never going to reach and then they're just going to disappoint you. Rather think about what is it that I can work on to make a little bit of an improvement in this direction? And it could be your motivation could be making that small improvement or it could be just doing your practice, your processes a little bit more regularly, a little bit more consistently, maybe for a little bit longer each day. That's progress as well, and don't rule that out. And you'll be amazed when you start to put in and celebrate your success for just turning up regularly and doing a little bit of the work, maybe making a tiny little bit of progress at the edge. You'll be amazed how that mounts up over time into those really big distances that maybe you were thinking of before. You'll be amazed at how quickly small, steady progress becomes transformational change. Now the key to this is getting started. 
when you achieve some definite progress, however small in one area, that's going to feed back into your motivation to keep doing this. So I want you to pick one thing where you think, I'm going to make definite progress in this, maybe small, just at the margins, but I'm going to make definite progress. And let me know what it is in the comments below. And just to be clear, this doesn't mean that you shouldn't be looking at other musicians. You can still get inspiration from them on what you want to work on or ideas for where you could be a little bit better. So you do want to keep doing that work at the margins. It's just that you're not judging yourself in comparison to them. And when you go about doing things in this way, there is no failure because as long as you're continuing to put in the work, you're identifying the right direction to go and you're taking the right steps to do it, that is success working on improving yourself, whatever the outcome. Now, if you're interested in how to make this approach a reality, I definitely recommend checking out my video on how to plan your music practice. And if you'd like the special practice and performance tips that I only share with subscribers, then head on over to playinthezone.com and sign up for the emails. They're free. I've been Mark Morley Fletcher. Thanks so much for watching. Please click below to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And while you're down there, why not hit the share button to pass this on to other musicians? Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.